Hi, so today I've come to talk to you about tea tree oil. It has many, many uses. It's really good for you. A lot of people know about it and use it, but I want to tell you more about it. It's from Australia. It looks like this. It's clear. It happens to be one of the clear essential oils. And this is Desert Essence. 100% Australian tea tree oil. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about tea tree oil. It's a narrow-leaved paperback tea tree. The general description of what it looks like is this is it's a small tree or shrub, smallest of the tea tree family, with heads of sessile yellow or purplish flowers. Distribution is it's native to Australia. Other varieties have been cultivated elsewhere, but particular tea tree oil the same type is not produced outside Australia mainly in New South Wales it's the only place that it's produced outside of Australia <laughs> other species tea tree is a general name for members of the Melaleuca family which exists in many philosophical forms including Kajiput and many other herbal folk tradition the name derives from its local Usage as a typical herbal tree prepared from the leaves. Our present knowledge of the properties and uses of tea tree is based on a very long history of use by Aboriginal people in Australia. It has been extensively researched recently by scientific method with the following results. The oil is unusual in that it is active against all three varieties of infectious organisms bacteria fungi and viruses that's the coolest thing about tea tree oil actions tea tree is anti-infectious anti-inflammatory antiseptic antiviral bacterial cidal balsamic cicatricent diaphoretic expectorant fungicidal immunostimulant parasitic and vulnerary Extraction. Essential oil by steam or water distillation from the leaves and the twigs of the bush. So it's steam distilled with water distillation from the leaves and the twigs of the plant. It blends well with lavender, lavender, clary sage, rosemary, oak moss, pine, kanaga, geranium, marjoram and spice oils, especially clove and nutmeg. It has a very strong smell, uh, which is why I don't use it in my sugar scrubs, although it has great anti bacne 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 as well. <laughs> but it has really great anti acne properties because it fights, like I said, fungal, bacterial, and viruses. And we all know that acne is caused by bacteria. So, yeah, it has a really strong. Oh, not my favorite smell. A lot of people really like the smell of tea tree oil. It's not my favorite. Here's another brand, Jason. This comes in a dark bottle, which is actually better. Uh, generally, essential oils, you want them to be in a uh, sun-safe bottle. One that's dark, so the sun can't break down the oil. Safety data. Non-toxic, non-irritant possible sensitization in some individuals so it's used widely because most people don't have any allergic reaction to it you can use it neat on your skin but you do need to patch test it for 24 hours first on your arm it does like I said has a strong smell and it takes a long time to dissipate so if you're using it inside of a carryover oil and putting it directly onto an acne or onto your face you will most likely notice the difference quite quickly or if you want to oil cleanse with it it's a really good choice as is geranium but tea tree oil can literally be used about a hundred different ways within your home it can be used to clean things you can put tea tree oil uh, distilled water just those two things together mix them up and clean your yoga mat with them you can put it in household cleaner you can make a household cleaner out of it because it's disinfecting yeah, there's so many things. It's uh, You'll find it in your hair products, you'll find it in your skin products, you'll find it in cosmetics, natural cosmetics. I mean, there are a million uses for it. It's employed in soap, toothpaste, deodorant, disinfectants, goggles, germicides, 
and increasingly in aftershaves and in spicy colognes. Yeah, it's also good in getting rid of bugs, so if you want to put it in your bug spray, it will be a good choice for that. Skin care, it's good for abscesses, acne, athlete's foot, blisters, burns, cold sores, bug bites for sure. If you've got an itchy bug bite, put a little bit of tea tree all on it, itch is gone. Cold sores, dandruff, herpes, insect bites, like I said, oily skin, rashes, spots, wounds, respiratory system. If you're inhaling this, if you're using a diffuser uh, for aromatherapeutic uses, this is, will be the respiratory uh, benefits of breathing it in. Asthma, bronchitis, coughs, sinusitis, tuberculosis, whooping cough. Those are pretty big deal. Those were big things back in the day when this was the only medicine around. And then there's some more information about if it was taken internally, which I do not recommend nor do I know much about. As far as I know, essential oils are not to be taken internally because they're too strong. If you want to take something like an essential oil internally, I recommend a hydrosol. A hydrosol is when essential oils are made, they're distilled, which means part of it becomes an oil and then part of it becomes steam and then when the steam comes back down and becomes water again that's called a hydrosol and that has all of the same positive aspects of the essential oil but it doesn't have the strength or any other negativity that can happen in your tissues if you're ingesting essential oils because they're just so strong so hydrosols which is something else I think I'm going to touch on at some point because I think hydrosols are great you can do a lot of things with them, you can take them internally, which is what's really great about them, which I do not recommend out of all that I've read to do with essential oils at all. They're just way too strong. So yeah, in the future I will tell you more things you can make using tea tree oil for your household and with other essential oils because the essential oil adventure continues. Let's learn about our essential oils and use them in our lives so that so then we don't have to use terrible bad products that are tested on animals and are really not good for us. So, so tea tree oil, the only essential oil to be effective on bacteria, viruses and fungus. Pretty good stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a peaceful day. I hope you enjoyed visiting Australia briefly and I'll see you soon.